Hello YouTube. Uh, I just got the two front mounts. The rear mounts haven't came in yet. Probably won't be here till Monday, so I won't be able to install my lowering springs until probably later this week, later this coming week. So until then, it'll be a good time to show you how to install the alignment plates on one of these. This is the front mount. You got a little bush in here. Okay, you got this, it goes on top, and you got your alignment plates to get your camber back in spec. You can see the markings there. Okay, it's a lot simpler than you think. First thing you have to do is remove these studs. These are pressed on. Now some people will stick like a, like two screwdrivers or a tie rod, whatever, and pry them back out. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some wood about the same thickness as from here to the, if you lay it flat, I'm going to put some wood here on both sides so I don't warp this area right here. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to lay it here, some wood under here to keep it from warping this, and I'm going to tap on this and knock the bolt out. And with the wood on both sides, I won't warp this. So let's get started. Okay, now that I pressed them out, as you can see, you're going to have bolts. You're going to have long Allen bolts, like these are the short ones. They also have long Allen bolts like this. Now these are the ones you're going to use next. You get a plate, make sure that, it, that the number part is facing up, and you put them on top. On top. Now this is where uh, each, each one is separate, different from each side. What you're going to do is, you're going to put a long bolt through the regular place. And in this case, this is going to be for the right side, the right strut. So you're going to place a long bolt through the mount and through the right bolt hole here, here, and here. They line up. And this is going to be basically for the right side. And you're going to do the same thing for the other mount, but all the long bolts are going to go through this hole, but on the left bolt holes. See right here it says left, and there's another one that says left. And that, and that one is going to be specifically for the left hand side. Uh, I'm going to do it right now, and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here we go. I put the long bolts, the three long bolts, through the left holes on both sides, on all three sides. So this is going to be for the left, or what you call the driver's side strut. And then I'm going to take the short bolts, these right here, and these are going to be the ones that you adjust the camber. You see the markings? up or down, the negative and positive camber. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set it for the middle. And uh, I know I might have, to, when I get it aligned, they, I'll let the alignment shop do the adjustment up or down to get everything into spec. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it in the middle. I'm not going to mess around and try to figure out how much camber I can put on it. Let the alignment shop do that. Just set it for the middle. Uh, you put this in. I'm going to set it for the middle, throw a washer and a nut behind here to tighten it up. Uh, these are not going to go anywhere because they're sandwiched between the mount and this plate. And this is basically what you're going to be mounting the strut itself with. Those go right through the box, through the strut towers, you tighten it down. Uh, this is going to be the alignment 
you'll be able to move the whole strut back and forth to adjust the camera. And this is for the left side. And I'm going to put these on, and I'm going to do the right side the same way, but instead of putting the elongated bolts on the left holes, I'm going to put them on the right holes. So then you'll know which strut goes where, because both struts are identical. So this will tell you which side and which strut goes on what side. And here you go. Okay, now it's ready for mounting. I'm just going to, I need an Allen wrench here to tighten this up, but I'm going to move these the lines to the middle and then I'll get an Allen wrench and tighten that up and that's that's going to be where I'm going to have it set. I'm going to let the alignment shop make any adjustments that they have to make. Now this is the right hand side, you notice it goes right through the right hand holes. That's just for the passenger side strut for the front. This is for the driver side, if you notice. I put the mounting bolt through the left hand side, left, left there. And like I said, I'm going to get an Allen wrench in the morning. As soon as I get one, I'm going to move the bolt to the middle, right neutral, and I'm going to tighten them down. And then uh, I'm just going to let the alignment shop figure out how much positive or negative camber I need to adjust everything back to spec. Um, only thing I'm waiting on now is the rear, the rear mount, the rear mounts for the back. And then I'll have to get a spring compressor, compress the, the lowering springs so I can put these on, assemble the whole strut, make sure everything is nice and tight, and then I'll install the front and back lowering system. Then I'm going to get it aligned, and then we're going to have some before and after picks of what the King Springs will do to a 2007 Ford Taurus. Like I said, they're not really designed for any vehicle 1999 and newer, but they're basically the same design. They didn't change anything between 96 and 2007, so they will fit and I will show you what it looks like. If you want to go this route, remember that the springs are from Australia. They're the only company that makes them now. iBot doesn't make them anymore. So you will be paying a little bit more for them because of the shipping. But from what I've seen, this is going to be a great thing to do if you want your car to handle better and just to look better. My car has too much gap. So this should take care of it. Uh, until the next video, I'm just going to wait for the rear strut mounts to come. It should be here Monday. And then I'll show you a video of how we put everything together. Compressing the springs, assembling the whole strut assemblies front and back. And when I'm done with that, we're going to install them on the car. Until then, I'll see you.